In this video, we learn the user interface of VBA editor that is visual basic for application editor. So what are the names and what is the use of those areas? Let us see that one by one. So you know how to open a VBA editor. You have to go to this developer tab. And if you see there's a visual basic, I'll just click on this visual basic and the very first time you'll get this kind of window. Let us see what are the names here. The very first thing if you see file edit view insert it is known as menu bar okay below that if you see there are some commands which are given on that these are known as toolbars these are that's one toolbar and that is the second toolbar which is given here now the third thing if you see there's a project it's nothing but known as project explorer so if you see project hyphen project vba project so that is nothing but a project explorer which has all the elements all the objects when i say all the objects it can contain it can contain sheets, it contains workbooks, it can contain modules, class, and you can say as different user forms. So this is nothing but collection of all the objects here. So now what I'm trying to say is, if I just double click on this place, if you observe right now, I have only sheet one. So you see there's nothing but given as sheet one. This is comes under the folder Microsoft Excel objects. So if you create one more sheet at this place, you can see that sheet two, sheet three, and so on. So you can see, I'll just click on this plus sign and I've created a sheet two. If I go back to that window, okay, and if you see there's a sheet two which is given here. Again in brackets, sheet two is given. If you create a new file, still you'll get in this place itself. So one Excel file is nothing but one project. So here if you see Excel underscore VBA dot XLS, that is nothing but one VBA project. What is this name given as Excel underscore VBA? This is the name of the file, Excel underscore VBA, right? So that's one file, one project. In that I have one folder where there are the all objects, sheets and workbook. What if you create one more file here? If you press control N, that's a shortcut for new file. I've created a new file, control N is the shortcut. And if I take you to that window again, okay, if you see here, now I'll just minimize. If you see here, I've got as two projects, VBA project, VBA project. That is first one is book one. Okay. That is nothing but a new file, which is created. And second one is Excel underscore VBA, the already existing file. Now, if you see, if I expand that, I'll get the same hierarchy that is the folder sheet and then the workbook, right? So if I close this workbook, if I click on this close button, okay and if i go back to that window vba window if you see that project has been gone so whichever file is open that objects will be displayed here if the file is not open you'll not get the objects of it right let us see the next part so here what can be done is right now i have two sheets if you want you can add modules if you want you can add the user forms how do you add the modules and user forms you can go to this insert and click on this user form. So user form is used to display a form which will have all the you know check boxes, radio button and so on and which on which you can work on. So if you see there's given as user form one, right? Same way, if you want, you can create a module by just going to this insert and you can click on this module part. So whatever coding we'll be writing, we'll be writing in this module part. We'll be not writing into this area. So if you if I just double click on this module one, see what happens. This is nothing but known as editor pane. Okay, I'll just maximize. This is known as editor pane. This is model editor. Okay, if you see in bracket, it is given as model one in bracket code. If I click on this user form, okay, and if you observe, it says as user form in bracket, user form is given here. If I double click on this sheet two, and if you observe here, that is given as sheet two in bracket, which is given as code. So this window is, it comes respect to, to this object. So if you click on this model one, again, if you see that's a model one, which has come here. So this way you can keep on creating different objects in this place itself. So this is nothing but an editor pane where you can actually write the code. Next one, I have this properties window. Okay. What is this properties window says is it will give you the all properties and the values related to the object you have selected. If you select this object, that is sheet one with respect to that object, you can see the properties. Let's say the name, or you can get the enable outlining or the name, or you can say standard width. So with, for this sheet, these are the properties for this user form. These are the properties. These are the values. So at any point of time, if you want to change the names or the properties, you can go and change from this place, right? So I'll take it back to this place. Okay. Now, if I want to just uh, properly fit into that area, I can just double click on this place and it will automatically fit. Right. So I hope able to understand what is a project explorer, what is a properties window and what is the code editor part. There are two more things which are left. There's one thing known as immediate window. So if you want to see that window, you can go to this view menu bar. And if you see there's an immediate window, which is given as the shortcut as control G. If I click on this immediate window, I'll get this small window. 
which is given here. Now what this window will does is you ask her a question and it will give you the answer. So whatever question you type in this place automatically immediately you will get the answer. So that is the immediate window which is given. We have a separate window which you are creating on this place. Okay, so that is immediate window. And the last part of this is there is something known as project browser. Okay, so if you want to learn the project properties and their methods. So there is known as project browser. You can go to this view menu bar and if you see there is an object browser. If I click on this object browser. You see there are all the objects which are present at this place and what are the methods you will be able to work with that. So I'll just double click and bring it here. Yeah. So these are all the classes of that objects. Okay. These are the classes of that objects and what are the things you can do? What are the methods you can do? You can add, count, create, item and so on. So you can keep on doing different methods with this object browser itself. Right. So if you want to close, you can just click on this close button. If you want to close this editor button, you can you can just click on this close window and it will automatically get closed, right? Similarly, if you close this properties window at any point of time, if you want to bring it back, so you can go to this view menu bar and you can see there's a properties window. You just click on this place, you'll get the properties window back, right? Yeah. So I hope you're able to understand what is the user interface of VBA, what are the different windows which are present into this VBA part. In the coming videos, we'll learn more details about this. Right now, that's all for this video.